Yo, yo. What do we got? All right, Safi Darbo on YouTube asks, I have uh, I have a green card through VALA uh, for my ex-husband, and now I want to get remarried. Can I file for my new husband, and how long will it take? If you have a green card through VAWA, you can get remarried, and your husband, it will take several years, depending on where your husband is, two years or so. Show him on, on YouTube, uh, asked, if my wife is a U.S. citizen filing for my daughter, who is under 18 and on an IR2 visa, uh, would my daughter automatically become a U.S. citizen when she enters the U.S.? Not through a step-parent, but through a natural parent. Okay, Monday, Instagram asks, I applied for a visitor's visa in 2015 and said I was married, but I was not. I was trying to come to the U.S. to see my now wife, but got denied, and then I asked her to come so that we can get married before we apply for a conditional green card, which was approved. I'm now in, in the U.S., and after two years, I want to remove the condition on the green card. They said I was married on the visitor's visa, and they want to revoke the I-130. What can we do? Prove you are not married, and then you probably they're going to ask for a waiver. So you got to do so. If this was in Jamaica, this gentleman's in Jamaica, you have to go to the National Records Center, do a search in all 14 parishes to show that you there was no marriage there. Hey, Mr. Biggs on YouTube asks, I have my 10 year green card. Can I file for my wife and daughter living in Jamaica? How long will it take? To yes, yes, you can. It'll take about two years. Frank Ugoji on YouTube asks, can someone travel out of the U.S. with a valid base parole on the employment authorization while waiting for a decision? And for how long? Yes, but, um, you know, they say you could stay out for months, but my advice is don't stay out more than 28 days. Ariatu Bangura on YouTube asks, can someone leave the U.S. and go back to their country if he or she wins the DV lottery, stays in the U.S. and adjusts his status? If, yes, if you adjust your status, you got a green card. Go back and enjoy your family and come back again. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, Natalie Ash on YouTube asks, if a child is approved and under 21 for an immigrant visa, does the child have to enter the U.S. before their 21st birthday? Their U.S. stepdad already did an interview and is waiting for a status update, still in refusal for documents. If it's through a U.S. citizen, the answer is no. If it's you're going to age out if you turn 21, yeah, you better get here before you turn 21. So it depends if you're an immediate relative or not. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.